here we are another unboxing another micro bit um, add-on you'd say this is really cool I saw this um, smart cute bot it's actually a race car build your first smart race car and um, there's a school over in Hong Kong that every student got one of these with their micro bit so that they could play so let's have a look and see what's inside I have my micro bit it doesn't come with a micro bit so you're gonna have to have one of those and if we open it up, we have our instruction booklet, which is always good to have. I'm sure there's different kinds of activities in here that we could start off with, right? So here's a good start off guide. It actually gives you some of the code as well that we'll use when we program this thing. So the instructions are always good to have. And I'll show you this in a minute, but let's look and see what we have inside. So there's not that much actually, it's mostly assembled. We have our battery pack. So this is gonna take three um, AAA batteries. So we'll need that to power it. Then we have the eyes. Now, these are distance sensors. So they'll be able to tell how close or how far um, the robot comes to objects, which is really good. So if it gets too close, we can have it turn around. Um, so we'll be able to sense and then we'll sense and then we'll have to say what to do sense is something so those eyes are always good to have and it kind of gives that robot that robot to it and the last thing in the box is just the actual little robot itself right so it comes assembled um, you don't have to do anything really other than just hook up your micro bit to it and get going and see here's your slot for your micro bit that we'll use and there's other things you can add on to this as well, um, but we'll just look at the basics. You can kind of see the wheels too, right? They got those race, race car wheels, so you got these rubber wheels, so it should um, create some good pull on the ground. So I am going to try to put all this together. I'm pretty sure it just is a matter of sliding things in, and I got to hook the battery up in the eyes, and I will catch you on the other side. All right, so I got um, this little, they call it a cute bot race car ready to go. So really simple assembly. You slide in the salt, the sensor um, eyes that we call these things, right? So again, measuring distance. I slid in the micro bit and then I attached the battery pack and just, they had this double sided tape. I just taped it on so it's on there nice and secure. Right, so I can turn it on and it will power up. You can see the lights turn on and the power is right at the back. Now, let's look at a couple of the things on here that we can use. So first of all, the eyes are our distance sensor, but on either side you have two lights as well. These are rainbow lights, so RBGs. You can change different colors that you can use. You can use. Okay, so those are on the, on the front. Also at the back where there are in between the switches, there are these extensions. These are things that we can things that we can add on. They don't come with the robot, uh, the cute bot, but um, I can add things on. So you can expand off of this, no problem. I love the ones where you can expand. And then if we flip it over, you have a couple more sensors underneath. Now, the ones that we're going to play with a bit are these two right on either side the tiny little black dots almost on either side and these actually will distinguish between light and dark right so they understand the difference between light and this will allow us to steer our car and then we have two other rbgs right here on right beside the wheels there in front of the wheels that we can also light up okay so those are again things that we can play around with um, as much as we want all right so I mean, here we are ready to go. What I'm gonna try, now, oh, I want to show you. So, assembled, it took no time at all. It also comes with this really cool track, right? Because remember, it's a race car. So Electrofreaks created this, and basically it's a track, right? And you can see that it has white black, right? So the robot's gonna be able to distinguish between the dark line and the white line and kind of allow it to follow this black line. All right, so we're gonna have to program that and then um, we'll try it out. We'll see how it races around the track. All right, so here we go. 
the coat is pretty easy to do. And you can kind of see that it, it shifts from side to side as we go. Um, I'll put it up a little higher than like this. So it's kind of checking, right? Going back and forth, checking and staying on the black line because whenever it has a, um, it sees white with its sensors, it is going to turn one of the wheels. When it sees black, turns the other. So it kind of keeps it kind of straight as it goes through. Now, it's not going very fast. I only put it at 50%, but the code itself is pretty easy. We'll pull it up as you're watching this car go around and around. Um, but you go and get the extensions, right, that are in the make code, and then you use the track ones, right? So they're going to be looking at the track, um, and the track's really quite cool because the track states that you have these dots you have to put. So one dot off, one on is meaning that it will be looking for this left track and then it has the opposite one on the other wheel and then the second one is all when it's all black so it makes it go forward and you can see the speed on each of the wheels right is different so when the when you set left wheel speed to 50 right wheel to 25 then obviously it's going to have more of a right turn to it than it would if it was on the 25. so again super easy project to do um very cool little I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit, get this race car going, and maybe I'm going to put some turn signals on as well. So as it goes around, it will kind of give the direction that it's going in. We'll play around with it, but really cool robot, super fun for kids, I'm sure. There's a bunch of other projects you can do in here um, that you could easily check out. So I recommend uh, this robot. It's uh, the smart, the smart cute bot. Here, let me stop this thing for a second. The smart cute bot. And, I mean, you can purchase these pretty much anywhere. Um, and, again, it's just an add-on to a micro bit. 